Your sister's cut. <laughs> I'm back with another drunk reaction, and today I'm drinking fireballs. I offered them. And we're back for episode two of uh, Sopranos, season two. And uh, the last intro was really long, and usually what happens when an intro is really long is I overcompensate for this next episode, and my intro is really short. So let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, bitch? So many tragedies and near tragedies to those close to you, huh? Don't be so fucking smart. Things could have gone the other way, my little nephew. Yeah, yeah that's the whole reason you're in this situation, bitch. It'll look like no bad blood. It'll be good for all of us. No Fuck fucking that. Way. That's lame. The feds or the, the criminals wouldn't mouth. give a shit if he makes pizza with his I'm gonna money. come out from his mouse hole. I'm gonna that's lame as fuck, man. What for? She said she'd only charge a 3% commission. That's half Tony's, all right? Thousands of dollars. I mean, it may not mean anything to you, but maybe Mark could use it. Yeah? Fuck her. <laughs> he ain't trying to save his mom no money. Shit. Anger issues. Just, 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 just a touch of anger issues. My tapioca. Tapioca's got to be the worst of all the puddings. It's got to be, man. Don't get me wrong. There's no good puddings, but tapioca's got to be the worst of the the puddings, you know. Lady Kerouac, or. Packing for the highway to a woman's self-esteem. You could never stand it here. You could never stand yourself. You know, it's like they took every fucking hippie stereotype. All of them. Every single one. And crammed them into one character, you know? Like, she's literally, she's like a lightning rod of all hippiness, you know? Because hippie is a very broad term. It can mean a lot of different things. And she means all of them. <laughs> one thing I could tell you. Would kill him to see when she gets that. that fucking whiny tone to her voice, I literally take just want stuff to get rid of her. Then the we can take our walk. Did I say that out loud? Leave me alone, please. God, I open the window. Her. Some guys down, and you know, make it uncomfortable for these people. Generate like sending shit with down there. It's gonna cost you. Besides, what you already raped me for those no-show electrician jobs. You're not such a fucking citizen when you want a construction bid to go your way, are you? Okay, Jack? okay. Take it easy. Yeah, he will knock your ass out. Go. Bitch. <laughs> call animal control. I understand it. And B, I hope you keep it between this room and Junior. Because if you don't, I yep. promise you, there's going to be another funeral. pieces of you in eight different dumps. <laughs> I inherited Junior. To the victor belongs to spoils. Why don't you get the fuck out of here before I shove your quotations book up your fat fucking ass? <laughs> that was completely unnecessary on both sides, man. <laughs> Tony really likes to do the celebration dance, does he? Touchdown celebration dance. Careful. Jimmy Altieri ate the pill for you. Any suspicion about being in a form that went to the grave with Jimmy Altieri? This is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. He shows no prior arrest since 1968. He's he got a very taxes, clean record. And he's a veteran of the Second World War. Oh, uh, Mr. Soprano, do you have any pays problem his taxes as well. Do you want a cookie, motherfucker? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, why are you peeking at people's windows? Now, what do you... you break that, you're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Did you do what I asked? What'd you ask me to do? You know, make peace. Do you listen? Make a piece with your mother. That shit. That I, I don't buy it, man. It's just let it's it a plot convenience so that you can get back with his wife. mom. But she I don't doesn't realize what man. she says half the time. Oh, my cop was meeting behind my back. Oh, you let sleeping dogs lie, okay? Hey, you brought up the shit. He literally but brought up the old shit. And it and says, hey, well, don't be talking about old shit. The guy who owns Green Grove, the Thai community. He's like an old fucking lady. He's been going around telling soprano business to anybody who listens. He's the one that's been saying that shit about you trying to whack your mother. Even implied that me and her. Pooh, that air piece motherfucker. Oh, maybe they have something in common about whacking that motherfucker. Jesus. <laughs> or Junior's trying to get him on the hook for some shit, you know. I gotta write a report on DNA for biology. You know. Isn't that interesting? I in my family, because I had, uh, after mom and dad divorced, I had three stepfathers. Not at the same time, you know, throughout, right? Two of the stepfathers had this rule 
that there was no talking during eating, you know, not, no conversation during uh, dinner, right? We'd have the TV on or something. I like that rule, actually. Because it's good for your digestion just to fucking chill, man. Now, like, I have a lot of dinner meetings and shit and come out with friends and have dinner. That's one thing. But, like, the, the family dinner thing, I think that's a good rule. Just fucking chill and watch something and just, like, be with each other, right? So you don't get, like, stressed out. Of course, that doesn't make for a good movie scene or a TV show scene. So clearly they got to talk, right? It's a good way for them all to talk because they're not going to be sitting in the living room all this talking. This my house. Right? How many times I got to say it? Thank you, Il Duce. You got something to say. The little girl's about to get a license. Might want to use one of those cars in the driveway in the next hundred years. It's my fault. Check and mate. It's Empire. It's hard to find people over 25 to drive with. Just don't ever let them know you drove me the bison hot. Which should be Jesus legal. Christ, The only man. thing that works for these hands. Man, She's a troublesome bitch. Yeah. Just Like I said, every single stereotype. There's a lot of people who are believing a lot of, like, you know, save the earth, ergonomics and all this stuff, and, you know, uh, environmentally sound and leftist policies, but they don't smoke dope. And vice versa. No, she is all of them. Every single stereotype you can think of. I think it's time for you to start to seriously consider self. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. You're one to talk, Tony. I mean, get off my car before you flip it over, you fat fuck. <laughs> what an life. asshole. Consider an exercise. Look at that. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, he takes that shit personally, Sorry, man. Fuck. To look in the mirror sometime, you insensitive cocksucker. I mean, I, I was going to say, like, he ain't as bad as you, but, you know, and then they show up, like, close up of a salad. You sons of bitches, man. Ma, DNA. Just it's awful. Right? Awful Guess people. how many nucleotides. Janice, you know what time we eat. If you're going to be late, call, or you're not going to eat. Damn, Don't dude. send me to bed hungry, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Guess who passed her driving test today? She learned for the hey, best. Go, girl. I thought there was a reason Meta was looking all smug because she was looking all smug. Oh, I forgot. You don't eat pork. In that way. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, shut up. Something to get. We had some really great news about Ma at the hospital today. Uh, he said, don't the rehab fucking talk about it, motherfucker. Making tremendous strides. Yeah, you do, dumbass. You're a wise ass motherfucker, huh? Well, keep your mother off the streets and I won't fuck her. That's right, hit Chrissy. Yes! Hit that motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Come to her about a DNR and she got very agitated. DNR? Do not resuscitate. It's to save the family a lot of anguish and decisions at a difficult time. When there is no quality of life. Janice! The uh, fucking doctors at the hospital were on my ass about that fucking DNR. They wanted me to, like, you know, do it because dad was in bad shape and there was no hope, right? They were, but they were just asking me about it every fucking hour. Like, they're bringing in different doctors and nurses and shit. I finally agreed to it, but I was like, God damn, man. They presented a compelling case, kind of like they're doing here, where it's like, you know, the... The efforts to keep him alive would do a lot of damage, and his quality of life would be even worse than it was. They presented a compelling case, but it's just, man, it was unbelievable, like, how much they were on my ass about it, like. You said we could visit her. You want to drive us fine. Now you want to visit Grandma? Can we, Mom? <laughs> no funny business. Go to the hospital and back. You know, <laughs> take, the family, take the mileage if you want to. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know she's bitter. No, Meadow drove me. Meadow? Well, where is she? I don't know. She's another one. They don't care what happens to you, Johnny. <laughs> they stick you away somewhere and they forget Device to everything. She definitely has borderline personality yes. disorder. She's like to fight motherfuckers have, all have over the place, man. You fucking no, miserable like cunt. What's DNR? Who? Oh, DNR. It's fucking hell, like, man. I do this report on DNA... But I heard Dad and Aunt Provati talking about your DNR. Oh, shit, So is shit, that, like, boy. similar? Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
God I mean, Janice oh kills what if you went to a coma or something? The DNA doesn't prevent comas, does it? You're a moron. Shut up, AJ. You're a know. fucking moron. I gotta do... I've gotta catch up on some charts. <laughs> Yeah, the nurse is dipped, man. She's like, I don't want to be in for none of this messy shit. Oh, spare us a fucking naked old man ass shot, man. Fucking bricks. That's an interesting cuss. Your sister's cunt. I don't think, it, like, in a million years I'd ever say, Your sister's cunt! <laughs> He's a fucking weird one. Oh, that explains why Tony no, left because he realized his dad didn't know and didn't want to know. So she that was cool, actually. I quote now because I know Johnny's at work. Anthony, your son, Anthony. He what are you falling for, you miserable old cunt? I raised three children on my own. I did a pretty good job. Pretty you good did a job. shit job. A shit I job, I say. I'm happy. You think he broke his hip? Oh, fuck you. Take it easy. Hold on a minute. I'll be okay. Give me a minute to catch my breath. You ain't catching shit, bitch. Anthony, don't let me go to my grave with this guilt. You listen to me, you old prick. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> with your mother, please. Oh, fuck that, man. <laughs> I'm going to be really mad if he makes peace with his mom. Really fucking mad. I hope it hurts, you old fuck. <laughs> it sounds like it does. Excellent. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. They are really slow playing this fucking FBI investigation, which I guess makes sense. It probably takes those fuckers years, man. Um, you know, I think there's like just such... A, obviously, there's a long history of love between Junior and, and Tony. But there's also a respect. I think Tony understands why, you know, uh, he played him for a fool. He got found out, you know. It's kind of like when you st stab a motherfucker in the back in business and then they cut your throat in business. You know, business, I'm just talking about. You're like, all right, yeah, I started it. They got me. Okay, you know. I can totally see that. <laughs> 